Hello everyone, welcome to these Battlegrounds. I'm Bobby B, and today we'll be looking at the McFarlane Toys Page Punchers G.I. Joe Cobra set. Um, this will probably be the last one I do for the uh, for the channel. Um, I probably won't pick these up uh, moving forward. I'm just they're not what I'm looking for as far as uh, collection wise and everything. Um, you know, I get it. I get it. It puts little little figures on the shelves for in comic books for in the toy aisle. Sure. I'll, I'll take it all day. Um, I just think it was executed in the... Uh, I don't want to say cheap, but like... It just wasn't thought all the way out. Um, definitely not exactly what G.I. Joe is. Uh, you get some fun comics. Um, you get some, you know... What could be awesome figures, but that just doesn't, doesn't translate. So, jumping into the cover set here. We get uh, that same bookmark we saw with the last one. Um, nothing too special about that little action shot of Snake Eyes. It isn't even the Snake Eyes we got in the G.I. Joe set. We got that. Um, you get Cobra Commander. And I mean, you know it's Cobra Commander. Uh, his arms can go around. All that jazz. Head turns. Uh, not too much up and down. Waist. Legs. Good to go. And he's got he's got a good bit of detail, which is which is a shame. So I'm sure if you were a, a customizer, you could paint him up, look, make him look real good. But I mean, they look like something out of a uh, gumball machine. But you can see he's got his little collar brass and everything going on. He's he's even got the uh, the hair dryer laser pistol on the back. So um, they're 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 well thought out. It's just they just they don't land. He's, he's even got the belt. I mean, he wears a. So it's it's there. It just doesn't uh doesn't fully um even got the dagger and the uh loops over the shoes. Um it's there, it just doesn't doesn't translate well. Move him to the side here. We got our Crimson Guard, and he's more of a scarlet in hand. He's got a, a very like orange tinge to him. Um like a white instead of gray for the Cobra logo and the braids. But again, we've got all this like nice detailing kind of there, but it just doesn't, doesn't land. Get the helmet. My dude's been hitting back day for sure. So, I mean, he's, it's like, you see what they were going for. It just, it just, ah, it's like a couple steps short. So not a whole lot going on there. You get your stand, it's in the three pieces, you get a 2012 G.I. Joe Real American Hero Annual, which is a beautiful cover, by the way, that's awesome. Um, and this is a thick one, but trying to put it in the little case, I uh, or slide it into the little grooves, I uh, damaged it a little bit, so right off the bat, <laughs> it's getting dinged up. But, I mean, it's pretty good, there's some ads in the back for some McFarlane stuff, but that's about it. Nothing too... Uh, Nothing too crazy. Then you get this shot of uh, 267. And then, um, that's what, the uh, the Cardboard Missile Command Center. Or whatever it was called with the Officer, Cobra Commander, and the Trooper. So, um, fun cover also. But just, again, there's no... I, don't, I, I haven't read this to see if it jumps into a story or picks up where it left off or anything like that. So, um, I couldn't tell you if it's... Uh, Part of like a continuity or what or if you if you know you read this one then you're curious to what happens next um <laughs> the annual is a uh it's a thick boy here the stand doesn't even want to hold it so we can get this one behind it keep popping the stand apart Gotta pop back together is it gonna let me Lining them all up. We got our Cobra Commander. No, I'm not gonna be able to get any in the stand. They're gonna be flopping all over the place. Crimson Guard. Duke. And Snake Eyes. Um, I know that McFarlane has that thing with DC where they can't do weapons. I know there's McFarlane weapon packs. Um, curious to why we didn't get any other. Because I mean, just they just keep it at that. She did a fifteen bucks for 
two old comics and some gumball machine equivalent action figures. So, kind of misses the mark for me. Here's size comparison to a Resolute Duke from the 4 inch line modern era. Size comparison to G.I. Joe classified 6 inch Cobra Commander. So, there you have it. Those are the page punchers. Did you guys pick these up? Skip out on them? Um, not your thing. If you, if you see them in the wild, you're going to scoop them up. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I, uh, I'm not going to say I was expecting more, but I wasn't expecting um, them to be like this, I guess. So, I was, I was honestly hoping to pick these up and put them in my truck. I might, you know, hit Duke up with a, uh, a paint marker here. I got some, some army colors. Might dab them up a little bit. See what I could do to them and put them in my truck just to have them hang out on the dashboard or something like that. But that's it for me. So let me know in the comments. Picking these up, skipping out on them. Um, are you guys going to get them for your kids? Will your kids be interested in this? Again, I get it. It's not for me. It's to put little mini figures in the aisle. I, someone commented on my other video about like if their kid would see these, they'd be like, oh, cool. And then they'd see a different, a completely different toy and be like, yeah, I'm definitely liking the other toy more. So, um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not there yet when it comes to uh, toy selection for uh, kiddos. So let me know in the comments below. Till next time, load up, grab your kits. See you on the battlegrounds.